Welcome back to The Daily Poem here on the Close Reads Podcast Network. I'm David Kern. Today's poem is by A.E. Hausman, Alfred Edward Hausman, who lived from 1859 to 1936. He was a classical scholar and poet, and is probably best known for a cycle of poems called A Shropshire Lad. Many of his poems are quite lyrical, and he has many poems about springtime. So I thought I would share one of those uh, on this week's, on today's show, rather. Today's poem is called Loveliest of Trees. This is how it goes. Loveliest of trees, the cherry now is hung with bloom along the bough and stands about the woodland ride wearing white for Eastertide. Now of my threescore years and ten, twenty will not come again and take from seventy sprigs a score, it only leaves me fifty more. And since to look at things in bloom, fifty springs are little room, about the woodlands I will go to see the cherry hung with snow. This poem comes from A Shropshire Lad, a one of Houseman's two collections, and uh, it was the second poem in that collection. And I read somewhere, maybe even on a blog or something like that, that this is kind of a carpe diem poem. Uh, of course, it's got so much in here about time, so many references to time. The uh, 70 springs, for example, which is what the average length of a man's life, according to the Bible, something like that. And thus, even as it's a poem about new blossoms, about a tree with new beauty and new growth, about the passing away of the winter and moving into to the, the, to the flourishing of a lovely spring, even with all that, and even with the playful tone that the poem presents, it's still a poem about the limited amount of time that we are given here on earth. It's a poem about the things that are worth paying attention to, the things that are worth beholding, the things that are worth spending our time with in the limited time that we do have. I suppose for many of you, the idea of the cherry trees being in blossom or anything being in blossom is still uh, a bit uh, far off. It's still kind of a just something you're looking forward to. Here in North Carolina, uh, off and on things are starting to, to bloom. In fact, I have a very, very young cherry tree in our yard, and it's, uh, it's starting to show that new life just a little bit. So this may be a poem that I should have saved for a month or so from now, but I think it's a poem worth reading leading up to the season when things become beautiful again, because it's a reminder to take pleasure in the things that are worth taking pleasure in, because we, we don't know how much time we have, and we don't, uh, we, we know f- for a fact that we're not granted um, really very much time in the grand scheme of things, no matter how long we manage to live. Um, our lives, such as they are, are quite limited in the grand scheme of things. So in a way, it's not really a, a new idea that this poem is about, but it's presented in a, in a lovely fashion. So here is Loveliest of Trees, once more by A. E. Hausman. Loveliest of Trees, the cherry now is hung with bloom along the bough and stands about the woodland ride wearing white for Eastertide. Now, of my threescore years and ten, twenty will not come again, and take from seventy springs a score, it only leaves me fifty more. And since to look at things in bloom, fifty springs are little room, about the woodlands I will go, to see the cherry hung with snow. This has been The Daily Poem. Thanks for listening. I'll be back tomorrow with another poem for you.